everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this tiny cute little bowl and it is made of t-shirt yarn and it is made using a huge hook. It's a number 10 that I'm using and the t-shirt yarn that I'm using, I just could not get it in the picture uh, in the viewfinder of my uh, video so the picture's coming up. I have made this in different sizes and the picture's coming up. Okay, to start our bowl, we are going to start with a magic ring. So you're going to um, roll your yarn over your fingers. You then turn it round like this and you come go in under and you are going to pull through like that and you do one chain. There we go. That's the start of our basket. And just pull it to see that it is a magic ring, that it will actually do what it's supposed to do. Now we are going to have to count this as number one because otherwise it gets too bulky. So we are going to yarn over, pull through and you need to do another eight half double crochets. So pull through all three loops on your hook. I'm using a 10 hook uh, for this yarn because that makes it nice and tight for the basket and doing half double crochets is just about the amount you can manage with this yarn so yarn over into the circle pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook it's quite um you know quite demanding on the fingers here so take regular breaks I would suggest so pull through one two and the third one and I keep sort of pulling it tight so it's nice and tight can you see it okay so that makes one two three four five so another four to go and I'll see you when you've got those. Okay, so I've done my eight half double crochets and then the uh, chain here, so that makes nine. Now I'm going to pull my circle closed. Now, this will require quite some strength <laughs> to pull it closed, okay. And now we are going to slip stitch into this here so that we close up our circle there we go Whew. <laughs> and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine um, stitches nine v's on the top here so now we are going to do in each stitch we are going to do two half double crochets so yarn over and chain one this is my last half double crochet from the row, so that's going to count as my second from my last stitch. So we'll just leave it at that. And now we're going to do two half double crochets into that first stitch that is next to that starting chain. There, okay. So let's keep going. And like I said, this is in no way the same as crocheting with wool or with other thin yarn. So do take frequent breaks. And if um, you have pain doing normal crochet, then don't even think about doing this. It is very, very hard, not only on your hands, on your fingers. It goes all the way up to your shoulders as well. So um, I do this, but I take very regular breaks. Um, because it is not easy to do 
and I want it to be tied so I can use it as a basket to put things in so I can't go up with my hook size because that would make it uh, you know not as sturdy so we have done in each uh, in the three here we've already done uh, six half double crochets so let's keep going and in the end you have to have 18 I'll see you at the end okay so I've come to the end of my round and I uh, have just done um, 16 half double crochets and then the 17th one was this chain the first one that we did and here I'm going to do my last half double crochet because remember I said that this one would be the second one of that half double crochet so that way it closes it up nicely you go into there and you slip stitch your work closed there we go or is that one too far Yes, it is one too far. So you need the top of that chain there. I noticed it when it became a bowl shape that that wasn't the right one. There we go. Okay, so this is the bottom of our little basket. And now we are going to go and do start the uprights. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to make this our inside because that's not so pretty we want this on the outside so we are going to chain one and chain two to go up and then we are going to start picking up this oh yarn over yarn over and pick up the top, um, the top of your stitch. So don't pick up both, but just pick up both the top one. And that way, you are now starting to make the walls of your basket, and you are making them, sort of, giving it a little definition by not picking up both of the. Um, and we're just doing one half double crochet in every stitch and you will see in a moment when we close up the circle that it's actually standing up like this see Okay, I'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, so when you're at the end of the row of doing your 18 half double crochets, you'll end up with that chain again. And you go into that, you pick up your yarn, you pull it through and you pull it through again. So that has made the bottom and the first of our little side of our basket so we have a little standing edge now and you have this edge here uh, because you've only picked up the back of your stitches and this is the time I think to go and change colour because I've done this here and I'm making just about a similar I'm making just a tiny bit smaller than this one so we are going to change colour so you pull through and you, um, you know, tie off your yarn. We'll cut it off. And we have a white one here. And I'm going to get started just here, just across <coughs> from there. So we'll pull through our yarn there we go a little bit longer on the inside maybe and I am going to take this one and this one along with me so I don't have to uh, sew it in because it will be very difficult to do um, and let's get some of our yarn out so this is the bobbin 
Okay, so let's get started. Close this up, pull it nice and tight. So we are going to do a chain one. And this is our beginning stitch. And now we're going to do a single in every stitch along. And I'm going to take these ends with me because otherwise it gets too difficult to pull them in later on. So just pull this again so it's nice and tight and just keep these ends along with uh, your work and weave them in as you go. And that way you don't have to weave them in later. So can you see what I'm doing? I'm just laying it on top of there. I'm going into my stitch oops, and I'm pulling up my yarn but I'm making sure that this is in between. See that, that these two ends are lying in between my work. So that the stitch is going over that extra those ends, that extra yarn. And just keep going until you've gone all the way around. This is quite a work. There we go. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. I am now at the end of the round and we are going to slip stitch to the end into the stitch here and turn it into a full circle. So once again I am going to count my stitches 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8 and that's correct. Then I'm going to cut off my t-shirt yarn, pull it through and I'm going to do the same thing again where you lay it on top and work it in. But as a little trick, what I also do is I bring it to the inside through there and then that gets rid of it on the outside and then I can just put it there because this time we're going to start with blue again but we are going to pick up the back of the loops only so we're going back one stitch here just go through the back loop and pull through your yarn and you want to do a little chain and make sure again that you weave in these ends as you go because otherwise it's just impossible to weave them in I'll show you how to get rid of this at the end of the video, but um, you know you don't want to be doing that with everything that you have uh, used when you're changing colours. So we're back to doing half double crochets into the back stitch and picking up the ends as well. So, and we have two ends here to pick up because now we're going past that last stitch of the last round as well. So there we go. So let me just get... Okay, so see? So this is going to stick out a little bit. So that's the sort of a little bit of an effect that I was trying to get to as a little, for a make it, to make it a little bit different for a nice effect in the stitches, you see. And why is my yarn not unrolling? Oh dear. <laughs> so yarn over. And we're doing half double crochets in the back loop of your previous round. And we're pulling it through really well. And we're making sure we're weaving in the ends as well. There we go. See? So that's the sort of the effect that I wanted so that that was lying on top. And I think I've already done 
with the blue yeah so it's just the white to come along now and you pick up the back loop and I will see you at the end of the row okay so now that we're at the end of the row I find that because I've been pulling my stitches nice and tight if I tie up this it sort of closes in a bit so I'm just going to put an extra um, half double crochet into that first where we have that chain and that will just give us a little bit more uh, space at the top so it doesn't sort of close up too much and then we slip stitch it closed and that way look it's standing up a little bit better or it's standing out a bit but uh, it makes it easier for our hands to go into otherwise it was closing up a bit and then again we are going to cut off our yarn and look so I haven't got any ends on the inside apart from this one here which was the end of my white one that I took along so we can cut this off Careful you do not cut into the other yarn. Then the only thing we've got here is the inside and this one. So let's do this one first. Generally, I get a slightly smaller hook out. Um, it, this is a six, it doesn't matter what, what, um, what it is really. Uh, just so that you can easily go in and pull it through and this is what I keep doing I just go into the stitches like this and pull it weave it in and out because you can't do anything else you can't put a needle through um, and to be honest you can't see that so where am I here so you just go into the next stitch and you pull it through like that And that way doesn't actually show up what you're doing but you're getting rid of your end <laughs> I'm glad this is finished Whew, I can feel my shoulders my arms my fingers Whew. and then here we're doing the same thing so you you go into there some you find a hole quite close to where it is can you see that and you pull it through and then you pull it through the middle push it through the middle and then you do the same thing again you find a hole here and that's too far away you find a hole and you push it you pull it through you hook it and you pull it through there we go and you pull it tight and then you push it through the hole again and it do the same thing again if it's too short it might not work again but it might just stay in that hole <laughs> that was my scissors going flying there we go Voila. All you need to do then is shape it a tiny bit, cut this little bit off here, and we are done. Look at that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do like it, subscribe, and come back for more. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.